Hey guys, it's DC here and today I wanted to talk to you about can a software developer become a hacker? Crazy Crazy off. Off. It's something that I've been asked a few times and I wanted to address it because I think it's it's useful to know because a lot of people who are currently software engineers uh, or developers who want to maybe get into security are thinking maybe I could be a ethical hacker or a pen tester or even like a security auditor. So the first thing is that you can move across because the base knowledge is already there. You already know how uh, different coding works. Obviously how to write these different coding languages is very important to know uh, when getting into especially penetration testing. And what I mean by that is a lot of programmers out there are already writing in Python or C etc etc. So they've already got that base knowledge at least to understand how programming languages work. A lot of the time they're also doing security patches and uh, vulnerability fixes themselves which have been handed down to them by security engineers. A lot of the time it's been passed down by the security engineers who are putting in a, a job request for something to be fixed up like a bug, bug fix or, or something along those lines, right? And those particular bug fixes have in them security patches. So it's, it's definitely possible to move across from being a software engineer or developer into doing security. And I've, I've actually seen a couple of guys do it and one guy in particular that I know is an absolute gun. He is, he's a really good pen tester and his previous role was as a developer. And um, I asked him the other day what languages he was uh, most into and he said that he sort of started on Ruby on Rails which I thought was really interesting because Ruby is a um, it's a fun language I haven't used it for a while and I, I should probably get back into it as, as a software developer as well he did a whole bunch of stuff in Bash which was really useful uh, moving forward into security and yeah now he's he's a really good pen tester he's, he's right up there um, with top guys that I know anyway the other question is that would you want to move from being a developer into a more security based role and I guess it's it's sort of up to you what you want to do there. Um, the money is fairly similar depending on where you are but moving across directly from software development into security uh, you're probably going to have to take a pay cut straight off the bat just because you're moving into a, a new area um, that you don't have experience in yet so there is that to think about but it's not the end of the world there's still at least over a hundred thousand dollars in in wages here that we're talking about so in the US software developers are especially in like the big four companies in the fang group are uh, they're making big big money like 500 grand plus for some of the higher roles and um, yeah good on them and you're not making that sort of money in security in Australia anyway unless you're way way up there and definitely not in the government <laughs> but yeah the possibilities are there if you want to sort of move across or if you're thinking of first studying software engineering and thinking maybe I should get into cyber security um, maybe it interests you more um, I probably wouldn't do it for the money because it's pretty much the same but if it's something that interests you more than what you're currently doing or maybe you just want a scene change then it's definitely a, a viable choice. In other news coming up this weekend I'm doing a video with Grant Collins. Uh, again I'm not doing it on my channel this time though I'm having a chat with him answering his questions. Um, I'm not sure when he'll be able to upload that video or edit it or, or whatever but um, yeah that's that's pretty exciting. I, I like having a chat with Grant he's a cool dude and um, yeah I'm, I'm really excited to sort of answer his questions and see what he's got uh, for me so if you want to check him out there's a link in the description for his channel and um, yeah have a look at his content he's got lots of great content on security there so definitely worthwhile having a look at but yeah that's uh, that's all I've got time for today I'm I'm still super busy with um, all these work projects and 
my own personal projects and my own life as well. So uh, yeah, I'll try and get some more videos out sometime soon. But until then, I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later, guys.